All right. Uh, Oval hasn't been going too well, so we are on road. We're doing um, what's it called? The advanced Mazda. Looks like yeah, on advanced. The Instead of the rookie stuff I normally do. Um, we're at Laguna Seca, though, or WeatherTech, whatever you want to call it. Sorry to have the hiccups. Um, did you do? Uh, so theoretically, the competition should be a little stronger, and uh, it's open. <coughs> sorry, open setup. Grabbed a setup from uh, a free setup from Major's Garage. They have their baseline plus setup, which apparently is just a slightly altered version of the baseline. It's just fine with me. It's solves uh, what I need. So uh, I don't need anything more than that. They probably don't do much at all to it. They probably just fart in the direction of the car and then it goes about a tenth faster lap. I don't know. But I don't know how to do setups, and I'm not paying for one. I'm paying for one, that's for sure. So here we are. Practice time was fine. I think I had like the eighth best time in practice, but apparently that doesn't mean much at a fast time in the uh, practice lobby of. Oh, don't hit that. I had the pretty fast time in the practice lobby of the Xfinity race at Las Green Vegas, flag, and uh, that didn't turn out so well, so. I don't think that means much. I don't know how much fuel I need, okay, so what I've done here. Lap is I put in a full tank and I'm gonna see how much or how far that gets me in qualifying so I know genius move everyone else oh, sorry everyone else is putting in uh, as little fuel as possible and I'm like fill it up give me all the fuel you got weigh this thing down so you know Pro strats, but I don't know what I'm doing in these series, especially when it comes to setting the car up and preparing the car. So that is what I've done. Take a look at it. It is a um, what did you say? 25 minute race? I think it said 25 minutes. Um, lap time here is about. A little over a minute and a half. So that suggests to me that I have too much fuel in here. Let's do it seem that way. I'm doing that thing where I don't really pay attention when I'm doing qualifying. You know, that really smart thing. I'm thinking about the race instead of thinking about putting a good keep time in. But I'm not too concerned about qualifying in the front or anything because I don't expect to compete I may be the uh, sixth ranked car for some unknown reason but I uh, don't mean I'm out of my element so don't expect much it's gonna have some fun at a track I really enjoy <clears throat> so 139 7 for the first time. I hope these hiccups go away. I'm sure you don't want to hear that the whole time. Go through there a little too slow. Setup seems fine. I enjoy it. I'm kind of just taking every corner too slowly. Let me, um... Track. Let me, uh, session best lap. Alright, yeah, so now we can compare to our uh, first lap. We're currently doing much better than that. That one was. Got through the corkscrew pretty well. With our 20 gallons of fuel in here, 200,000 gallons of fuel. 
Has just done it. Maybe I find out a secret, like, turns out you want a full tank. <laughs> it slashes your lap times in half. That would be rich. Uh, much better lap time this time around. Probably still not good. Give me eighth for now. The guys are still doing their laps, I guarantee you. See you already ninth. Uh, let's drive around. Get a better look at uh, how much fuel we're using. And uh, not stare at a blank screen while we wait for the race to start. You got loads of fuel. Hmm. We got a crew chief to help us out too. Hopefully, we don't need to come in and fuel. But oh. sorry, I'm like looking at my <laughs> I'm looking at my fuel and not the track. Every time I look at uh, that Bubba Burger sign, I think of Bubba Shrimp, <laughs> like Forrest Gump, that or Bubba Wallace, and I'm like, when did he start a burger stand? For some reason it doesn't feel right if I don't have my relative screen up, even if I'm driving alone, so I always default to that one. Doesn't make any sense. There's obviously not going to be anyone around me in qualifying, but <laughs> I don't know. I just like to de default to it. Am I the slowest qualifier? No, we got plenty of people behind us. That's cool. So, question is, are we going to be taken out into turn one? We all know how fun turn one is in road racing actually in racing, in iRacing. Let me not single out road racing because, I mean, even recently I've experienced plenty of despair from the turn one shenanigans, or, you know, of that ilk. Turn one, lap one, lap five in an 80 lap race. All of it is the same thing. Well, it looks like we will qualify 11th. I'm gonna. Wow. We're gonna be so much faster. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like that might be my uh, most used phrase on this channel. I don't know what I'm doing. Pretty emblematic of my iRacing experience. I don't know what I'm doing. That's like my. Uh, catchphrase in my sitcom you know like I walk in the room and I say I don't know what I'm doing and then the laugh track goes off and everyone claps and they go woo 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 and then Urkel walks in yeah that's my sitcom Urkel's there for some reason what am I talking about we're about to do a race <laughs> got about a minute but I think they're gonna queue up before then Seems like uh, people on road racing, they seem to get ready quicker. I don't know what the hold of, the holdup is in oval racing, but everyone always seems to wait until the last possible second. But I think we're uh, we're going to be ready here. We've got way too much fuel in this thing, but setup seems fine. Qualified 11th when I was half paying attention. Um, if we can survive people going wild at the start, Maybe we can have a good finish. 25 Big minutes. if. The 11th. Let's get these turtles revved up. Heads up, we're going green. Green, green, green. Okay. Kind of scary, like you worry someone didn't get off the grid or something. Because, <laughs> like, I'm pretty much trapped in. Are they already wrecking each other? Car ride. Oh, boy. Still there. Still there. You're on the left. Three wide. Don't want to be three. Still there. Still there. Car right. Two wide. This is bad. Still there. Hold your line. 
Clear. Car right. Clear. All right. You do not want to be side by side through that corner. I'm gonna tell you that. So I had to take it real slow. Give him all the room in the world. I don't care if I lose some time because my car is not broken. And that means we will continue Go right. to die the next corner. Alright, see, I was kind and didn't try to pass this guy through that kink. That guy initially thought he was going to come on by and kill us, but decided against it. Thanks to some divine intervention. You got a slow car on the right. I don't know how you even do that. Whatever that guy just did. He spun out <laughs> into the corkscrew. He got corkscrewed. Uh, we've gained some positions, I think. This guy's making kamikaze passes already. Gotta get that coveted leader of the first lap, I guess. So we started 11th. Where are we now? After that mess. You're in the top 10. Top 10. Hooey. Jebediah, I'm doing a good race in these European cars. That was a bad corner. I need to stop doing stupid voices and drive. Or else I'm gonna earn losing my space. Man, I'm terrible. Okay. Trying to get some space behind me so we don't get dove bombed. practice okay in practice I got my wheels off just like that and it kept in the throttle and it spun me out hard so that time I knew get out of the throttle let it roll a little bit and you'll maintain composure so practice. that should be something I already knew granted why do we keep going wide here I'm usually okay in that corner. Um, granted, I should already know that. Because that's a truth in any track at any time. <laughs> but, you know, it's a good reminder. And I was thinking of it at that moment. And it helped me survive. So cool. Close enough to make a pass. Please don't try to do it here. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Such a bad idea. Don't Back panic. off, man, because good god. That's how you end up flipped over in the sand. I think we're faster than he is. I just keep making mistakes and being stupid. Done a 137.28. Leaders are doing a 137.28. We have done a. Cast off on the right. <laughs> That's not good. Uh oh. The lead is bidding now. You got What's happening? Right. I said we had a yellow, and then that guy spun. So unless that's a clairvoyant yellow, someone else must have spun. Uh, I don't know. 
So that's one spot. Maybe there's another guy in the grass. Uh, the grass, there's no grass here. And there was maybe another guy in the uh, sand that I didn't see. It's a long race. So I will take that whenever I can get it. What are we doing here? 19 minutes left. Oof. That's gotta be intense in real life when you take that corner like that because it's like you bottom out and you hit so hard. But it's an oof every time. Right, we're getting through the real slow. Now. It would appear. Leader's pitting now? Oh, someone put their qualifying setup in. Why are we breaking so hard in here? Please. Please. I'm just trying to stick him in there. Yeah, I'm definitely faster than this guy. But. Gotta get past him again. Because I made too many mistakes. What's he doing? He's backing off because he knows I'm faster. Car on your left. Fastest lap. You've just done a clear on the left. Eight. What a rad two. What a rad dude. Cool rad dude. Nice front. Eh, still going a little too hard into that corner, but that was better. I kind of want to say thank you for that, but I don't know if that's exactly what happened. I don't know if he was letting me by or what. I don't even fully understand if he meant. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because I felt like I wasn't really way up on him. But I was like off the pace. I don't know what. like he got damaged. He got hit by a bird or something. <laughs> Broke his car. Hey, we're doing pretty well. Maybe I don't give myself enough credit for my road racing. Road racing. Just road racing things. Though I do just really like this, uh, this course, too. I'm just gonna get some draft, alright. I'll pick up a little bit of that. We're all so eager about it. You're in fifth. Fastest lap. I'm in fifth. Let me not overdrive it this time. There we go. That's better. I think. Maybe I took that one too tight. Also, I shifted there for no reason. And my wrist is still cramping. Do you mind wrist? I'm kind of trying to do something here. Those two guys up front are gone. They are, uh... They know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, you saw them like they were, uh, eight seconds ahead and... Seven seconds ahead for their spot. Both those guys kind of got in the grass a little bit. the fuel. Watch, it turns out I needed that tiny bit of fuel I took out, and that's why we're faster. How'd you get over there? How'd that guy get over there? He half spin? He teleported. The next car is swollen. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Okay. Made that pass. Cool. I 
see a two car getting closer. I think that guy ended up off track at some point, and he's fast enough to keep up with those two guys up front. So I think we're going to be seeing him real soon. They're pretty good. Get some draft. This hill. Ooh, almost cut that a little too much on the inside there. It's obviously pretty blind, so you have to trust yourself and know what you're doing a little bit. Getting through the corkscrew. I credit Gran Turismo for helping me learn this track. Good old Gran Turismo and their licensed challenges helping me learn to drive. Because something tells me the NASCAR Thunder games weren't helping as much as you might think. <laughs> You're in fourth position. I'll give it a peeky boo. The outsidey do. Kick the throttle. I think we're faster than him. We're not gonna push the issue. Until we find the right opportunity. Pushed it harder through there. so long to get on the gas. It's like I forgot that's a thing I needed to do. Two's coming. I just hope he chooses wisely when he wants to do it. course. <sighs> so we're in a bit of a tight spot here because we're stuck behind the 21, who's doing very well by the way. Congrats to the 21 for running third. Um, Car on your left. Pretty consistent. This guy dove in there so hard. Clear. Took him out. What a jerk. It's probably his own fault that he ended up doing that anyway. He ended up wrecked in the first place. It's probably his own fault. What a mess. So now he's in front of me. He's faster, but he's clearly reckless. I knew that was a tough spot to be in. That's what I was in the middle of trying to say. Because I got a guy in front of me that I'm faster than, and a guy behind him is faster than me. So you know, I'm getting pinched in between. It's just not going to be a good spot to be in. So. Now we're stuck behind two guys, and eight's gonna try to take advantage, I bet. Trying to pressure the 21 to win a mistake. Hope he hangs on. I always like rooting for the underdogs. He's supposed to finish 21st and ended up third, so he's doing a great job. Despite being punted by the Bourgeoisie number two. Ooh, I did that again. No more of that. All done with that. One X. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, the wide. <sighs> got ten minutes Imagine he's gonna make the pass go. here. What do it on the outside, it looks like. Looks like he's overcomplicating it. <laughs> I think he's fast enough that he shouldn't really even be having that much trouble to get by him, but it looks like he was like doing a crazy like wide maneuver and I don't know. I don't know 
if it was necessary. Good racing, though. Fun to watch. Still got a good nine minutes left or so. 21 gets through there pretty slow. Anyone knows, everyone knows, not to try to pass through here. Don't even think two cars can physically fit through there, <laughs> realistically. Being held up. Hopefully the guy behind us doesn't catch us. He did. <laughs> Just look behind me and he gained a billion meters on us. Oh, I need to stop doing that. Pushing too hard through there. Speaking of pushing too hard... The one goes wide. It nearly takes out the two. So we got ourselves a good old fashioned race. They're still touching each other's bumpers. It just doesn't seem necessary. Watching it from back here. I'm sure I'll catch up in here in a moment as they continue fighting and I get the draft. I just know I just knew we had seven seconds back behind us and uh, oh man. I think the tires are worn. I think I need to change how I'm braking. I think that's what's going on. Um, I think. I talking about. <laughs> um, we got lots of space behind us, so I think they're gonna fight it out, and we'll probably catch back up if I can figure out the new braking points now that the car is getting used up. And if I finish here, that's where I'm supposed to finish anyway, and it's a decent finish, so. switch this to session last lap oh, yes so that way I can tell better how my laps are comparing with each other now that my uh, my equipment has been used up a little more Not quite catching back up the same way. I see the two car got past the 21 finally. Oh. 21's letting the pressure get to him or something. As he now uh, has gone off again right there. Didn't hurt him too much though. Ooh. That's good the tires there. That was not ideal, but it ended up kind of being fast. Let's not do that again. Took that wide. Yeah, just don't have enough experience with the uh, cars that are getting worn down like this. So, gotta do some learning. How much time we got left? Five, five minutes? minutes? Five minutes left. Okay, oh, of course. The yeah, spotter tells sure me immediately after I check. Um, yeah, so what that's three four laps something like that. Didn't think. <laughs> I didn't focus enough during that corner. Catching up a bit though. How much field we end up having still? 
<laughs> 36 left. Yeah, overfield it. I already knew that though. Yeah, this was curious. These guys could easily take each other out and we could get another two spots. are close enough that they could take each other out too. Oh, this opportunity for chaos. I'm really having trouble figuring out the new braking zone with the with the car and the corkscrew. Specifically. I'm dialing it in a little bit in other corners, but that one's still being weird to me. Almost went wide. A bit. Catch up here. Man, they're like tandeming right now. Shooting away with that draft. That was a 139.15. Hey, that's pretty good. We're right there. Ready to capitalize if there's any. Made your mistake. Hop on the curb. That's cool. Did an ollie. Tony Hawk's in here. Always underdrive it there. Oh man, I love this track. All the elevation changes and the corkscrew of infamy, which I actually managed to hit well that time. Look how much time I get by actually taking that properly. There we go. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Hmm. Still not quite uh, composed enough, though. Still making too many mistakes. It almost seems like we sorted sorted ourselves out up here. <laughs> Found uh, where our speed takes us. Really got to break earlier into this corner. It feels like now that. Uh, later in the race. That corner specifically seems like it. you need a extra break. Got through there better this time. Cut it low, but still think it was okay. Alright, putting them together a decent lap at the moment. Too soft. What am I doing? What flag this time? It looked like he was trying to make a pass. We're gonna get dive bombs. We're gonna get angry guys. This is what's gonna happen. White flag. White flag. One more lap. Your last lap time was a one thirty-eight point seven four. Prime time for guys to uh, overdrive corners too. They're trying to get everything out of it. So I'm going to remain composed and see if uh, I can take advantage of overaggression. Alright. 
It really looks like we've sorted each other out though and found out where we belong. Give him enough pressure. Ooh. <laughs> Dirt road in it. He takes the defensive line. Ooh. All right. Clear. Ah, I tried. I was gonna hit him if I didn't lift at the end there. I made a good effort though. Whew. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That was fun. That was a good race. Great job. You did really well. Good race, guys. Love it. Love this track. I'll save. <laughs> and I finished sixth. Exactly where I'm supposed to. Great race, Whew. Wow, they had a close finish to the front. They didn't wreck each other. Love to see it. Sixth of 28. It's our 11th, so I gained spots from where I started. All right. Neato. Eat burrito. Let's see uh, the crashes. The explosions. What do you have for us today, I racing? Guys bumping into each other right on the green flag. I'm gonna get to see some of the uh, first turn chaos. Three wide. Oh, I did okay though. That's a pretty cool shot. Ooh, there's something. Oh. That's not good. We're gonna see that again. He just gets loose on the old the cold tires. I know that was a different that was a different deal. I remember seeing that actually. Mm hmm Gets punted. Okay, so when I saw that it looked like he just got loose on entry. I'm like, how did you even do that? But nope, he got punted. That sucks. Mario, no! You lost your left ear. And they're going too wide to... <laughs> oh, no. What a disaster. What a disaster that was. We got cars everywhere. It's carnage. Oh, the humanity. So Mario's getting loose out of the corkscrew. We got this guy that got punted earlier. He's looking to get back on. What happened? you guys what happened to you so he runs in the back of him that's what happened I think yeah he just gets through there much faster and then he just follows him right into the wall just pile drives him so we yeah, got lots of action Ooh. oh my gosh the corkscrew just destroying cars Chewing them up and spitting them out. Hey, that's what happened to me in practice. That's what I was, take, that was, what I was talking about. In practice, that happened to me, and I learned from it. So, I went wide here. You stay on the gas, and this is what happens. It looks like that exact same ha thing happened to this guy, too. That's just what happens, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I did it in practice, and then I realized once I got my wheels off the corner there that you just gotta let it roll. That stops it from happening. So that guy got the that got the curb. I remember he was following me for a while. I guess he wrecked at some point. Is this at some point? Is this the point? Oh, it almost was. It almost was. That is this same guy has run into people already there's a, a thing people talk about with Red Bull schemes being sketchy drivers he's got the Red Bull thing going on and I've seen him wreck someone and then run to the back of another and then yep nope that proves it there it is 
avoid Red Bull <laughs> paint schemes the best you can, because that's what happens if you don't. It's just a bad omen. That looked like payback. <laughs> I don't know if it was, but it looked like it. I don't know if that was one of the Red Bull guy's previous victims or not. But uh, maybe that was just karma happening in real time. Well, in real time on a replay. Too wide through the court screw. They both lost a ton of time doing that dance. Uh oh. To be fair, obviously you gotta not run in the back of someone. But some guys, like, they go through there way too slow. You gotta go through that to corner a lot faster. You gotta go like that speed. And there were some guys that were, like, hitting the brakes hard to get through there. And you really just gotta drag it a little bit. Still shouldn't run in the back of someone, but that's probably why that happened. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's like two identical cars. Interesting. Just noticed the one guy off the track. After that guy got some bumps. That guy's through the corkscrew much faster. These guys are kind of farther back, so they've got like a mis mix of skill sets, I think. They got like some some guys that are perfectly fine through some corners, and then some guys are slow in others, and they kind of don't ma mass, uh, match up, and so you got guys running into the back of guys in corners. Got some blinks. Blink, blink. This is like 10 at this point. Or going into lap 11. Don't know why we're seeing this unless he's about to get nuked. Nope, we're good. The corkscrew strikes again! Oh, whoo, that red one, that red car was lucky. It was about a nanometer away from getting him. There it is again. I think it maybe even did tap him a little bit, but it wasn't enough to get him. Glad we weren't one of these guys getting, uh, getting ripped up. Don't know why we're seeing him. This is 22nd position blinking out. Just went in there way too hard and did he give up? Is that what that was? He just turned right and was like, forget this, I'm out of here. Yep. <laughs> or, uh, oh, maybe, was that the end of the race probably? Maybe that's what that was. Maybe he's like, all right, race is over, time to be a goofball. There he goes. Yep, that's probably what that was. All right. So, that was a lot of fun. 21 ended up in fourth. Good for him. 12 car won the race. That's awesome. We got exactly what was expected of us. Happens all the time. I rate accurate, apparently. And, uh, started 11th. Clean race. Got 0x, right? No, 4x. When did I get... Oh, off tracks. That's right. Couple off tracks. Still good, though, for a road race. And, uh, a little bit of a longer one. 25 minutes, so... I'll quit on... I'll quit my blabbling. Because uh, that's the end of the video. And I uh, hope it was a fun one to watch. See ya.